Okay, this problem, this is a multi-period inventory problem. It will be very similar to what uh, the example I want to use for this week's worth, uh, work. But still, this one, uh, you're not, there's not a homework problem on this. It's just more of a show you how to do, and then I'll make this file available. So the, the issue is that we have, over time, over a 13-month, a 13-time period, so I want to assume that's months, this is demand, this is what it looks like, and you can see we have two spikes. We have a spike at the third month and then another big spike around the ninth month and with the big valley. So the question is, how are we going to meet demand? What we do is we buy. This is not a, a, a making or production problem, it's a purchasing problem. We're going to have to buy from three potential sources of supply. Source 1, 2, and 3, this is the cost per unit. So obviously, oh, excuse me, this is the capability per month. This is the cost per unit. The ones that cost the least is, per, is supplier 1, and they can supply the most. So supplier 1 would be our preferred supplier if we could do that. We don't want to use supplier 3 very often because it's the most expensive. What we can do is buy a lot and carry it from month to month, but for every unit that we carry from month to month cost us two bucks. So, like for example, the first month I could purchase 180 and nothing and nothing, and you can see that I've met demand because this number is bigger than this. So that's good. I can't go, I'm not going to do any back orders or allow any uh, sales not to be met demand not to be met. At the end of that month, we have 80 left over. I'm starting with nothing. I buy 180. I sell 100, and I'm left over with 80. And now I'm going to make this same decision. And then what did this cost me? This cost me the purchasing cost of 180 times 100 plus $2 times 80 bucks. So the, the, the trick is then is what is the plan of purchasing over these 13 time periods to minimize my cost? I have to make sure that all of these have to be greater than or equal to these so that I've met demand. And I cannot e exceed capacity. I can't buy 500 in the first month because that would exceed my 180. So. Let's look at the problem, the model. There's my uh, objective function in cell H21. That's my total cost. That is summing my purchasing costs and inventory costs by month for the 13 months. These are the cells that I can change. This is 36 variables, three columns, 12 or 13 columns a piece. Um, keep in mind, optimization that we're doing right now is not really hard. And we were already up to 39 unknowns. Uh, most of uh, optimization is applied to thousands of variables. Actually, more than a, more than it could be hundreds of thousands of variables. They're not hard because they're e not hard to understand. They're hard because they're big. Oh, and then uh, our constraints. So this set of constraints is looking at meeting demand. I got to make sure that my available is always bigger than or equal to my demand. And then these three are looking at, I can't exceed capacity. So when I solve this, it finds a solution. Let's go ahead and plot it. I think that's interesting. So I'm going to plot this. I'm going to plot this. I'm also going to uh, plot what I purchased. And then finally, I'm going to plot my inventory. It's going to be a little busy, but let's look at it. There you go. So the one to look at that's most interesting probably is the inventory, which is this. So you can see the strategy on inventory is I do do a little bit of a build ahead, early than demand, and then I bleed it off. So there is a build ahead of inventory. If I look at supplier one, this is how I'm going to manage or purchase from supplier one just about all the time except for right at the beginning and end. 
supplier two, which, which is the green. I don't really purchase from then until time period seven. Then I purchase, I max out. And then time and then uh, supplier three, I do purchase from them, but only late in the year when it's not worthwhile to carry inventory that long. Okay. And again, that's, uh, that's an example of a, a multi-period inventory problem. Thanks.